Here's how to turn off the iCloud on your Mac. Now, if you don't want all those files, photos, et cetera, on your iCloud, you just want them on your computer, you can always disable it. I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll get into your settings. So tap on the Apple icon at the top left, and then we'll tap on System Settings from here. The very first thing I would recommend doing is checking the space on your Mac. The reason why we do this is, of course, if we're disabling iCloud, it's going to download all of those files, photos, etc. to your Mac. So tap on storage here and you're going to check to see how much free space is available. You can see I have 271 gigabytes, which should be enough if I wanted to turn everything off and store it just on my computer. Now, to do that, we're going to tap on your name at the top left where it says Apple account. And then just tap on iCloud here. Now, everything that is saved in your iCloud is right here. And you can hit the See All button. Now, it's really easy to do. All you need to do is go through this long list of everything that is turned on. For instance, you can start at Photos. And all you need to do is turn this off. Now, it will pop up with a question. It says, do you want to download a copy of your iCloud photos to this Mac? So this is all of the photos and videos that are stored on your iCloud, but a full resolution is not stored currently on your Mac. You can choose to just delete them and they'll be gone for forever, or I would highly recommend hitting the download and that will download them all onto your Mac. That's why we went and found out how much space you have on your Mac, because of course this will take up a lot of space. So just hit download and wait for it to go through that process. And then you can go next to iCloud Drive and do the same thing, turn this off. And then we're gonna hit keep a copy on here because of course in every instance, if you want those documents, photos, information, etc., make sure you hit to keep a copy or download it onto your Mac or else of course it will be gone for forever and you won't be able to recover it. It is a bit of a tedious process, but again, you just need to go through this list and make sure everything is toggled off and you're good to go. iCloud is fully disabled. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you just have any questions. Thanks, guys.